Hello everyone, my name is Ramat and today we're going to do a Tlia mid guide in Flex in which I will play with Omnistone, a new keystone. Well, this is the latest new keystone. It was Kleptomancy before. But I suppose we're going to try this because I had an idea. I've seen the Twisted Fate OTP that plays in High Elo in Europe West or somewhere. And he plays with Omnistone. And I thought if it works into Twisted Fate, maybe there's a chance it works for us as well. And so for the runes I'm playing with Omnistone, Magical Footwear, Biscuit Delivery, Time Warp Tonic, Presence of Mind, Cup the Grace, and these rune stats. It's kinda useful because we have both Presence of Mind, Cup the Grace, and Biscuit Delivery time or tonic so the lane phase is a bit more fun now the only bad thing compared to twisted fate is that you don't have the ad part the ad steroid the ad the ad help from the triforce build that he can go for or the attack speed boost or things like that so in in the case that we get something like little tempo like this it's not going to be that useful but but this rune uh, it's actually quite smart so it's it generally gives you runes based on cases so like if you if they are low hp right if they are low hp it gives you dark harvest if uh, if other scenarios happen it gives you that rune so basically you get the until level 9 you get fleet footwork sometimes to get healed to get healed by it whenever well you're low so there are cases also when you get dark harvest for example like this is and it enhances the other ones as well so you'd like to proc it right you'd like to proc it if you can Right, so that's the most interesting part about it. Also, you kind of get a lot of runes often, and that's nice as well. Uh, and what I liked about it is that you can get the Glacial Augment, which is useful when you have GLP. You can, you can get it more often when you actually get uh, GLP, and that's nice because you kind of like, we kind of like that active, but we don't like to have it all the time. So it's good for us. Uh, also, for itemization, I'm going for GLP, first item, I'm going to think, I'm, I'm not really fighting her because I'm experimenting with this rune, but I could try to to do some things around. Uh, I'm going for for GLP, as I said, and then Sorg Shoes into, into dodging that, into an orb, they don't have that many heals. Ah, they do have two conquerors and the Janna. Into maybe Rabadon's stopwatch somewhere there and stuff like that. I guess that's that's optimal for us. And you're going to get these bad cases. Like this rune. So it's not always going to be pleasant. But most of the time it's going to be fine. And I need to auto-attack her. I need to auto-attack her to actually get that heal. But she stays back, so I suppose... Let's just reroll the rune and see what we can go for next. Also against Diana, Diana is a pretty difficult matchup, so you're not likely you're not likely to actually destroy her on the lane, especially if she spams spells like that. Also face rush like I have it now, it's quite useful in some cases whenever you're ganked and stuff like that. And I'm gonna get that minion and that minion and that minion. Nice, nice, nice. She's spamming, she's literally spamming Qs, how is she not having any issues with that? Okay, I procced, I procced that, I procced face rush. Oh, I didn't, actually I didn't because it would have disappeared, so I'm trying to understand how this actually works, right? Come on, lose that minion. Man. I am horrendous on that combo. And... Yeah, she's gonna jump on me now. Alright, gonna do a full Q. Oh boy, <laughs> that was chaotic. Alright, I'm gonna get this real fast. Gonna try to push it into tower. I don't think I'll reach it. Maybe. Yeah, nice, 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 nice. So we got the kill on her. Now, there are good cases and bad cases. Bad cases is, for example, this rune Hell of Blades, because obviously we're not going AD, because that would be trolling. But. There are counterparts, so good cases in which you most likely will get a good outcome. But what we do like most about this is, even if you don't have Ravenous Hunter from the Domination Tree, we have Presence of Mind and, and also Time Warp Tonic. These are best in slots runes combination for Tlia, I'd say, if we weren't talking about the main keystone. If you could always get them, I would always get them, because Presence of Mind gives you infinite mana basically in fights, and Time Warp Tony gives you survivability on lane, which Talia lacks, and you don't have escapes, 
so that can be that can be difficult also what's to be noted now is that i'm going to get absolutely destroyed on the first ramus gang also what's interesting is that when you get boots you start to get predator as well which is oh boy to Leah with predator is actually quite fun i'm gonna ping to gank her because she doesn't have because i i can fight her only and only if she comes uh, if grace comes to gank because ramos will counter gank probably so i don't want to risk it all right also an, a rune that's not that useful is conqueror because you hardly stuck it and in the rest it's quite fun look i propped comet now individually comet eerie all of these runes aren't that good the main the best rune is electrocute and dark harvest but if you combine them and you get a very low cooldown as you can see you're actually going to have a nice time and here i'm going to proc face rush for example i'm gonna just do a combo on the minions not even gonna rush it i see her recalling there I'm gonna stop her also i have their harvest so whenever i have their harvest i'd like to proc it that would be ideal and we we see her there okay if you hit a, a combo here we can actually oh boy man all right i'm going too close to him but <laughs> there is a diana I want I want to go towards this. <laughs> I hope I hope she yeah I see her. Okay 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 okay. Right. So I got the kill on that. I am two zero. I am having another semi useless room. I suppose. I'm gonna get her. Oh boy. Okay. I was certain I gonna I was going to get her here. But at least I proc'd little tempo to get rid of it. And so in a few seconds, like what? How many seconds? Eight seconds, nine seconds, you get another one. So you proc electrocute nine seconds, you proc combat nine seconds, you proc dark harvest nine seconds. You get look free heal right here, right? So there are there are so many combinations. It's actually fun. So if I were to play Talia for fun, like in the non-serious scenario, like non-ranked games, I would definitely play more often to experiment with this. I might even try in solo queue. Oh boy, that was unfortunate. That was definitely unfortunate. Although I'm hitting those combos like no one. Man, you're literally near me. Okay, she's dead. And look, also, oh yeah, 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 this one I like it. I, this one I like a lot, to be honest, because if you get ganked and you cast a W, you're going to have major survivability compared to general stuff and honestly i like aftershock but if you push people away from you and you proc it instantly there do you really gain anything because think about it they jump on you right they jump on you you cast w under yourself to push them away this guy is doing this i hope he's fine he's big, he'll be fine you're not going to make use of resistances that much but i suppose it can work also free boots by the way in like how much time 945 in 20 seconds and that's another pretty neat thing because it's cheaper so you outscale the opponent by getting this stuff so i'm i'm, I'm having fun right now actually uh okay so aftershock might work but i'm not sure in, not sure the context and now as far as i understand and i'll be able to get more often more often glacial augment because i have the Hexagilp. Right? Alright. I should have not flashed here because. No, don't, 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 why did you go there? <laughs> I was already dead the moment I seen Ramos should have backed off. Man. Versus nine, man. Yeah. 
Yeah, I got the ball. Go away from the Diana, and we went right. Right. I am being zoned right here. Nice. Oh god. Had to actually go away from that. Baron just spawned. Go. It's just spawned. Should be ours. Gonna put that there. Go on. Smite it. Nice. Nice guys. Nice. If Seth gets caught, at least we catch this armadillo. Okay, I agree. Fair trade. Right, let's go. I'm gonna recall. What? Why do I have the feeling that Jana is going to stop me? Yeah, this guy has that same feeling. How fast is she taking it? Oh boy. See? Aftershock, man. Aftershock, man. And we didn't even lose the inhibitor. <laughs> oh boy. Aftershock actually came perfectly clutch in this context. I could have flashed out that, but I didn't see the point. Because there was... Ah, there were objectives, but I would have respawned the same time as her. And it, I'd rather have flash for the next fight, so that's why I... Didn't risk it. I didn't. I wasn't even aware that I have aftershock, but it seems that it can. This keystone can actually save your life. So if you like to blame the RNG, <laughs> you have to. If you want to have a playstyle like that, then yeah, this is one way to actually do it. So I'm seeing Ramos. Ramos is there. Why aren't we getting this? Like we should. And I have the worst keystone right now. Right, go for Cloud, but go somewhere. <laughs> Ramus side farmed the whole game. <laughs> Effectively stealing CS from others. This guy solos it so fast. Man. Just gonna scare them a bit. <laughs> Have a wall to take care of. Okay, so here is where the flash comes in. Okay, see? Ugh! Let them pass. Let them end. All right. Now, now, dude. Easy. Easy! Woohoo! <laughs> that wall though. Oops. Can I have this? Thank you. That wall trolled Kled so much there. Oops. And also I have Rabanus now, so I'm technically full build. If by technicality we mean that we're dealing a lot of damage. Yeah, this is a core. The main core that you want. 
All right, get me get me out of this keystone. All right, give me something. 25 procs, 1034 damage. Can I see? I don't even know. Would have wanted to see someone with electrocute, but apparently I don't have. I have just Yuri. Alright. Do you mind if I catch this guy? Oops. Alright. Guys. 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 Alright, he still did it. <laughs> he still did it. <laughs> And I have another one that I don't like. Half of them are good and OP. The rest of them are E. So we got it right, guys. We got it to the end of the game. I mean, I'm close to it. I think Kled is massively tilted because he's 8 14. He killed me sometimes, but I suppose I were fine. Okay, boom. Ah, oh, this is depressing, man. Alright, so that's Omniston Talia. It was by far the most interesting gameplay I've ever had with Talia, because obviously since they removed AoE on Q. And I really want you to try this because I believe it could be fun for you to experiment with this champion and other stuff if you are tired as me of the constant same things on Talia and no other changes. So I guess this was the game. I really hope you enjoyed it guys and see you next time. And goodbye, guys.